I'm a fish biologist by trade, but even when I'm not at work, I spend most of my time playing on rivers, kayaking and fishing. I have an inherent interest in what happens in my local watersheds. I want my kids to have the opportunity to use the same resources that I've used. California's watersheds are very fragmented right now. Dams and levees have fundamentally changed how California's watersheds work. Stacking on top of that, we have a changing climate, we have increased population, we have increased demand on our water resources. Managing California's water is very complicated. The key is finding creative solutions to deal with the competing needs of environmental water use and human water needs. If we don't address challenges with water in California, we'll have environmental collapse as well as water delivery challenges. The Center for Watershed Sciences is an interdisciplinary watershed science group here at UC Davis. We have economists, we have geologists, we have hydrologists, fish, bugs. If it's part of a watershed, we study it and we're able to provide the science and the backbone for California water policy. The Yolo Bypass is a flood control structure that diverts high water flows around the city of Sacramento. Without it, the Sacramento metropolitan area would flood on a regular basis. On the Yolo Bypass, having a collaborative group with resource agencies, research institutions, and farmers, we've been able to benefit not only the local economy, but the wildlife that use that land also. An interdisciplinary team like what we have on Nags Ranch is very important because it's so complicated. We have a farmer who's managing the land. We have the agencies who are the permitting specialists and have scientific specialties. And then we have the research group that provides interdisciplinary science. When you go to look for solutions in a watershed, you have to have a team that's equally diverse. And we think that that's the way you should look at a watershed if you want to get real solutions to complicated problems.